There are 12 new employees at the Furman Solar Farm, but they're not your average workers. 12 sheep, we're talking sheep, have been hired to help cut costs at the farm. 7 News reporter Jennifer Martin explains. For the past four weeks, sheep have been wandering between thousands of Furman University's solar panels, but these sheep are not lost. The panels are low to the ground, and so you can't get a riding mower under there. So you have to cut it by hand. If you can imagine, mowing this grass by hand is quite time consuming. That's where these guys come in, nature's own lawn mowers. <laughs> See, sheep farmer Stephen Wood and his flock have an understanding. <laughs> if they eat what's under the panels, he'll get a paycheck from Furman University, plus shelter for them and a place to graze. We're actually paying less than we would be to hand mow under the panels. So economically, it's a win. It's also a win environmentally for us. We're trying to be a carbon neutral school. It was Wood's idea. Well, I read up a little bit on sheep and how they were used before there were lawnmowers to like graze the lawn at the White House or Downton Abbey. And it's the first of its kind in the state, according to Furman officials. Yeah, so these people are going to think I'm crazy. So far, the sheep have been productive employees, helping the six acre solar farm supply power at a lower cost. It's offsetting or, or helping reduce about 5% of our energy needs um, for the campus. And doing what sheep do best in Greenville. <laughs> Jennifer Martin, 7 News.